If you're making a painting or drawing, you're making marks directly on something and then that is the object, that's the piece of work it exists. Then with print, with etching or monotype, you're making a plate and the plate is impressed into a piece of paper. The paper is an impression of the plate and the plate exists for the paper. Where is the work? Philosophically, where is it? Where is its ultimate existence? I was always uh, drawing as a child. Now, my home was a very kind of traditional Jewish home in the way that, in the way that people were very involved with each other. And uh, my grandma would take me to the Tate and the Wallace Collection, the Sargent paintings. Just, I felt like the way they were looking at you was like um, more than looking. It was that was really affecting uh, thing. I found generally people very confusing. <laughs> and so drawing, drawing from looking was a way of processing that. I've always been driven by drawing from observation. But the thing that started me making puppets to work from was we had to pick a, a module when I was at uni and I picked puppets. And then I discovered about the, the Mordecai Theatre, which was a puppet theatre in New York. I, I remember seeing the Poussins, the dance, and he makes models. The first puppets I made, I made the Minyan, you know, like a Jewish men praying, make 10, and um, started to make drawings from them. And suddenly I realized if you're working from an object instead of real life, you stop being obsessed with catching a likeness of a person and instead catching a kind of feeling, like a kind of glance or like the intonation of a head. And suddenly every single one of those differences becomes a precious thing. So I was just drawing and I was just kind of like literally just drifting. I was working at a cloakroom in an art fair and um, I saw a demo for etching and I was, what is that? Print really blew my mind because it was so different from painting and that has such a different cultural history. Print is born out of mankind's need to share, like disseminate information. And also as well, like uh, the world we live in now is so ubiquitous with the shared image. It's just so much a part of our lives that print kind of reflects that. And there's this format of you have an embossed edge and an invitation into a space, like in theatre. There's this invitation to speak. So I think that that's a really big thing in my, in my work is collecting words and collecting bits of poems and things that people have said and that relationship between the word, which is so kind of clear and concise compared to the image, which is kind of ethereal and floats off. It's the kind of anchor to the world. I think there's so many things about print, the space between like a plate and a print and where the work actually exists. That there's, there's, a, there's an alchemy in that that isn't in painting and drawing, that's somewhere else. Painting teaches me things that I take into etching. Etching teaches me things that I take into monoprint and then back into drawing. It's this kind of like a cyclical where they're all having this like relationship with each other. Art brings me great comfort, both making it but also looking at it. It's a way of understanding the world. You know, kind of, I read a lot and I'm really interested in books and stories. But I think there's something about pictures which is on a different plane of existence, um, which brings me great comfort and joy. Mm -hmm.